Page 113, Opportunities for Continued Growth. We come to NA to learn how to stay clean and recover from, recover from the disease of addiction. After all, Narcotics Anonymous offers us only one promise, freedom from active addiction. But recovery is about much more than not using drugs. Recovery means facing whatever life brings and trying to see our circumstances as opportunities rather than obstacles. Sometimes being clean means that we are fully present to challenge to the challenges that confront us. Section entitled, Our Diversity is Our Strength. While the principles of anonymity make us all the same, we do have differences that may present challenges in our sponsorship relationship. We come from a wide range of ethnic, educational, and occupational backgrounds. Our diversity extends to age, creed, religion, or lack of religion, and beyond. We may all speak the same language of recovery, but it would be impossible for all of us to learn that language in the same way. The differences between us offer innumerable opportunities to grow as we work together as sponsor and sponsee. Quote, today I've learned that color, race, or background doesn't matter and that we are all addicts recovering from this disease. However, when I got clean, I came into an NA community that was made up of almost all members from a different culture than mine. I was older than most of the members in my group. Growing up with my family's beliefs and background, I was not accustomed to sharing what was going on in my life with anyone, especially someone from another culture. I didn't trust many people in the program at first. I finally met the member who had answered my call on the helpline and was able to connect with him. We both came from the same background. When, we shared, when he shared with me that he was living one block from where I bought drugs and that he was clean for six years, I believed that he was the only one who could help me stay clean and work the steps. I have grown in all areas because of his help, and this growth has helped me realize that others can help me too. Close quote. Another quote. I remember when I was a newcomer thinking to myself that Narcotics Anonymous is like when I was in a battle, in battle during the war and my life depended on the person next to me to survive. I sure didn't care what race, creed, education, or social place you held. I just wanted to live another night, close quote. Another quote. My greatest challenge has been to sponsor a teenager. When I started to sponsor this guy, he was about 16 years old, and I had about 16 years clean. I am very careful about what I say because I know he is still learning about life. I think of him as the son I never had. He now has over one year clean and is an, and is an inspiration to me, especially with the way he works the steps. He writes his steps so well, and a lot of times I have, I have to ask him not to write like he is writing a book. He calls me almost every day and reminds me of how I used to be in my early recovery and how I should try to be again. He gives me a lot of hope. I don't have to be somebody else with him. I love that we have such an honest relationship. Close quote. Section entitled, Additional Needs, page 115. As a result of our active addiction, some of us suffered physical consequences that we continue to live with in recovery. In many cases, our health has been damaged irreparably from using drugs or from placing ourselves in harm's way to feed our addiction. Of course, not all the additional needs of our members are related to the disease of addiction. We have to deal with the same physical challenges that affect the general population, physical disabilities and challenges from birth, and the results of accidents and illnesses. Quote, Early in my recovery, I used to have my sponsees do what my sponsor had me do. But when I started working with a guy who was brain injured in a motorcycle accident, I had to regroup. If I asked him to write one page on a topic, I found that it might take him 20 to 30 hours of effort to write that one page, but he would do it, even if he couldn't understand what he had just written. So now we talk a lot about the steps and how he can apply them in his daily life. Close quote. Another quote, page 116. Five years ago, I had to go on medication for a disease I contracted as a result of my addiction. The side effects were horrible. It drained me of energy, and I slept about 12 hours a day. My sponsees really helped me during my hour of need. They were patient and understanding of the fact that I could not be there for them as much as I had in the past. As a matter of fact, they were there for me, running errands, giving me injections when needed, going with me to doctor appointments, taking me to meetings, etc. I only missed three meetings of my home group that entire year. Also, my sponsor was incredible. She called me every day and we would talk for hours. She encouraged me and helped me apply the principles of the program, especially gratitude, acceptance, and humility to the situation I was going through. It really showed me that this is a we program. I will never forget the kindness and love that was shown to me during one of my most, the most trying times in my recovery. Close quote. More and more of our members are accumulating clean time in this program. We have grown up in NA and we are now growing old. 
As recovering addicts, many of us are living long enough to be confronted by the health problems that come with increasing years. With the help of our sponsors and the support of our sponsees, we make what changes we can and we accept what we must. Sometimes we are forced to reach out and we grow and prosper as a result. Quote, one of the things I wanted from a sponsor was someone who would give me time every week. My sponsor said, no problem, be here Saturday morning. I was so excited. When I got to his house that morning, I asked him where we were going, knowing it must be someplace very spiritual. His response, my doctor's office. He continued to give me more time every week. I thought he really loved hanging out, driving around, and going to meetings with me, despite the 40-year difference in our ages. I came to find out that since he's gotten older, he doesn't like to drive as much anymore. Thank God he needed me to help him out because it has given me so much time with him and has made for an amazing relationship. I have been given the opportunity to give back to someone who has given so much to me. Close quote. Page 117. Many of us are not good writers, or we may have reading difficulties. As a result, we may feel inadequate and we will sometimes shy away from step writing assignments. Quote, I sponsored a woman who read very little with limited understanding. We would meet about five or six times a month to read the step. In the beginning, I'd do the reading, stopping to explain what sentences, words, and paragraphs, etc. meant. Once she began to trust me more, she would ask questions, tell me when she didn't understand, and attempt to read aloud to me. I encouraged and challenged her to write on each step, draw symbols, pictures, whatever, to get it done. After step three, we agreed that she would try taping, taping step four. She dropped off the tape to me at work, but I refused to listen to it this way. Instead, we listened to it together, stopping along the way for her to share and feel what was going on with her. This process was a renewal for me of the steps, and it helped to enhance my understanding of them. My patience, tolerance, and self-esteem were bolstered, and she was blooming in her new life. Close quote. For a variety of reasons, some of us struggle with completing everyday activities that come easily and naturally for others. If we are sponsoring members with additional needs, we can help them be aware of what NA has to offer. Many of our meetings offer wheelchair access, and some even have interpreters for the hearing impaired. There are a number of audio versions of NA texts and pamphlets, as well as literature in Braille and large print, page 118. We can also work the steps with our sponsees simply by sharing one-on-one. -on -one. While many members believe the best way to work the steps is through writing, there is no hard rule that will fit every member in the fellowship. Quote, I lived in a city where there was a long-term treatment center that specialized in serving deaf addicts. One of the cl clients had come from several states away to attend treatment, and I became his temporary sponsor while he lived there. This was the day before email or online chats, and most often we communicated through a relay service. He would type to an operator at the service who would read me the message. I had difficulty with the setup at first because I was embarrassed about some of the personal details he was disclosing to a stranger, the operator. He pointed out to me that this is what he needed to do to stay clean and got me straightened out pretty quick. I could identify with that level of willingness, and we began to talk much more freely after that awakening on my part. Close quote. Another quote. Some years ago, I was stricken with a series of devastating, debilitating illnesses. I found myself physically dependent on others to help me get through the day. This was a complete reversal for me. I was always the one to be there for everyone else. I had been a trusted servant in Narcotics Anonymous for decades and in world service for many years. I loved being at ser of service at all levels, but then it all changed. I had to surrender to the fact that I had to practice what I had learned about the spir spiritual principle of receiving. It has always been much easier for me to give than to receive. One of the greatest gifts of my illness has been that it has given my sponsees, sponsor, family, and friends the opportunity to give back to me, for which I am truly grateful. As a result, I have experienced an ever deeper sense of love and intimacy in my relationships, especially with my higher power. Close quote. Page 119. As sponsors and sponsees, it is our responsibility to work the steps to the best of our ability using whatever it means possible. Regardless of the challenges that confront us, if we are willing to make the effort, we will find a way to work together. Section entitled Institutions and Facilities. Being in a sponsorship relationship while in a correctional setting, treatment center, or another confined institution offers a different set of challenges. The need to stay focused on recovery and to work the steps will be especially important during this time, whether it is our sponsee or our sponsor who is in the institution. If our sponsor or sponsee is incarcerated, we will have to take into consideration the rules enforced by the facility and how those rules will affect our ability to communicate with somebody on the inside. We may need to, re we may need to rely on communicating via telephone or writing letters. 
Depending on the specific situation, we may not be able to see our sponsee or sponsor on a regular basis. It may function much more like long-distance sponsorship. Both members will need to be exceptionally open-minded and willing for this relationship to be effective, but it can and does work. Quote, when I got arrested, I only had 11 days clean. I will never know if I would have stayed clean had I not been arrested, but I like to believe so. I believe that being clean and having some NA experience at that time was a big blessing. There was an NA meeting that came in every other week to the detention center I was in. I knew one of the guys because we had met at meetings before I was arrested. Man, was I glad to see him. I was this big, tough, tough dope dealer. But when I saw him, I began to cry in front of everyone. Page 120. Anyway, I asked him to be my sponsor, and he agreed to correspond with me. We wrote back and forth a couple of times, and he got me started on the steps. I read the basic text from front to back and got started on the fourth step. I didn't want to carry that stuff around any longer. I ended up doing my fifth step with a minister because the, the guy who was my sponsor was only allowed to visit me during the scheduled NA meeting. Eventually, I did my time and was released. Today, I'm sometimes called out to the facility's intensive treatment unit to do a fifth step with a guy who is about to be released. I always encourage them to get a sponsor and start working the steps as soon as they get out. It's what's worked for me. Close quote. Another quote. At 17 years clean, I found myself being locked up in an institution for over three years. I was able to stay clean during this time by working the 12 steps and staying in contact with my NA support group through the mail and payphone. As time passed, I was blessed with the opportunity to sponsor four other inmates, one of whom was like me, clean in NA on the outside before he went into the correctional system. I was able to continue my sponsorship relationship not only with some of the fellows outside the walls, but inside as well. What a gift! It is said around Narcotics Anonymous that we never have to be alone again, and that has definitely been my truth all these years. Close quote. Sponsoring a member in an institution can take a lot of our time and energy. We should be mindful of the impact that the institution may have on our sponsorship relationship. Although most service committees ask that we not sponsor members in an institution while serving on a panel, some of us have found that sponsors or sponsi have found sponsors or sponsees in such settings. In some parts of the world, institutions, treatment centers, and courts require addicts to spend a certain amount of time with a sponsor and to work the steps in a certain way. In addition, some facilities have strict guidelines that we must follow if we are to sponsor someone there. Our vision and experience of working the steps might be different from how the facility directs our sponsee. While we do not want to abandon our sponsee, the regulations many institutions and facilities enforce may demand, be demanding or even conflict with our vision of the program, and we should think honestly about whether we can effectively sponsor someone under these circumstances. Page 121. Before agreeing to sponsor someone in a correctional facility or other institution, we should learn about the facility's requirements so that we can make an informed decision. This way, we can ensure that our decision will most benefit our potential sponsee. Quote, I recently have had the privilege of sponsoring someone in treatment. I have sponsored people in treatment before, but this was probably the most rewarding relationship for me. She told me that the treatment center required that I pick her up once a week to take her to a meeting and that we work the steps together. I explained that I had a family, other service commitments, and worked a 40-plus hour week. She said she realized that I had other responsibilities, and based on each other's expectations, we agreed to work together. However, once we started to work together, it was apparent she had different expectations of me than what we initially agreed upon. She subtly let me know that the other sponsors took their sponsees out to dinner, gave them money, and let them come to their homes for weekends. I told her I would not be able to meet those types of obligations. She pouted. I got resentful. I was presented once again with an opportunity to work on my people-pleasing tendency. tendencies. This had always been somewhat difficult for me. I had to let her be angry with me for not meeting her wants. Close quote. Page 122. Another quote. I went through a treatment program when I got clean, and I try to give back by sponsoring women there. I found it extremely difficult at times because the center has so many tough rules that I don't always agree with. In spite of that, I realize it's about helping the newcomer, and today I feel I have a lot to give to someone who is new. Close quote. 